we've got major liability. Okay, this is the Enigma division with Afterglow. Let's do it. Oh, Major Liability says this is an Irish prog metal band. They've been releasing singles for a while, but just debuted their first album. It's funny because, like, this sounds nothing like prog right now. It reminds me of, like, that chill wave music that was really popular 10 years ago. That, And then, you know, the 80s vibes. Something that Muse did on Simulation Theory, which is my least favorite album that they've done but okay <laughs> sounds like it's gonna get crazy Cool. Okay, again, these graphics remind me of Simulation Theory, the Muse album, which, ironically, even though it was the music I liked the least that Muse has done, the the actual like aesthetic and graphics of it, I loved. Like this grid with these cool purples and pink colors and deep oranges and stuff. Like such a cool aesthetic here. See this aesthetic, that neon, pink, blues, purples. Here it is, the dark side. Like a car driving through into this like simulation grid, whatever. Retro wave. This is really interesting prog metal because even though it's prog metal, it's so easy to listen to. It just has such a nice flow. It somehow is chill metal. What the heck? Those riffs on the guitar, the connective tissue riffs between like the chord progressions and stuff, so cool. Too, rock attack lock. I'm listening to this like analytically with the ear of a music producer and like trying to think why like this music that's so riff heavy is so easy to listen to. And I'm like, what I'm coming up with right now is the drums are more kind of drawn out and epic. They do do like the unison and cool stuff along with the riffs, but they're pretty spaced out. And then you got these really th this thick blanket of synths on top, like a nice pad for everything to sit on top of or under maybe, but like it makes those, what would sometimes be harsh riffs more digestible along with the great smooth tone. But dang, 
I think even Rosie would enjoy listening to this, and she hates prog metal. <laughs> Here's the link. But I can't let it get to me as this world grows colder and colder. Ooh, nice chord change. There's a guitar solo coming, but first I want to talk about that pre-solo. Those guitars are so elegantly and like pristinely played. You don't hear any weird undertones or overtones from letting anything ring out. It's just so clean, so precise. Oh, that's so tasty. And then the like palm muted arpeggios and stuff. Dang. That was sick. Okay, uh, before I forget, too, Nanaka have men- uh, pointed out this sounds like Devin Townsend. Yes. Like, this big, epic, nowhere near a typical song structure. Such clean guitar playing. Voice is kind of similar, even. That's a good comparison. This guitar playing is so clean and elite. Like, it's so hard to get a performance as this clean that I'm starting to realize, I'm like, why is my why do my mixes sound so bad? It's because I play like a freaking slob. You know, I'm always scraping other strings that I'm not fretting. And, and Or there's a string ringing out, and I'm like, this sounds like crap. And it's because of my technique. But this, that's why this stands out to me. It's because it's just so clean. Such a next level of guitar playing. <laughs> saying that guitar style kind of reminded me of like guthrie govan first of all really clean and then also like really stylized doing a lot of down sliding into notes and stuff that you don't hear that often thank you for that major liability